Hello, everybody, it's Rave. Game of Thrones, Season 8, Episode 4! Spoilers, you haven't seen anything except for the fucking cup. Yeah, Starbucks, I'm like, yes, they had very, they had lattes back in Westeros. Uh, so there's a lot of moments I liked. So, we see Jamie. He is back. I'm like, Jamie! And then I'm like, oh, okay. Not Jamie. The Victorious! Oh, 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 Victor! They have won. All right, they have won. No. All right, I get that. Uh, so the the battle for Winterfell is over. So they give. She's toasting. Everyone's like, yes. Now it's time for the last war, whatever. And then she's like, oh, to Arya, the hero of Winterfell, or whatever. And everyone's celebrating it. They're having a good old time. I'm like, oh, shoot. And then you see Danny in her feelings. I'm like, yes, this bitch is crazy. Because she sees everyone's boasting her. And then we hear freaking Adorman. He's like, he's a madman. He even died for his enemies. Took a heart and the knife. And what kind of a madman? He wrote a dragon. That's not a madman. Not a king. I was like, damn, he is boasting. I'm all like, go on, man. Yeah, tell John what he doesn't know. And then Danny's just looking at him like, Like that, like snarling. And Varys is like, ooh, this bitch is in her feelings, feelings, in those feelings. And she made Gendry, Gendry and Baratheon, first of his name, Lass of Storm, whatever. So yeah, and then after that, he's looking for Arya, and he's like, oh, be my wife. I'll never be a lady. Kisses him like, damn, you just got friends over there. At least you got the Puna. Nah. And then everyone's drinking, and then... Dormont goes to Brienne, he's like, oh, and then they're having like a drinking game uh, with, you know, Jamie, Podrick, and Tyrion, and she's like, oh, you danced with Renly Baratheon, <gasps> you were married before Sansa, oh, <laughs> and then he said, you're a virgin, I'm like, damn, freaking, you know, descriptive, and she leaves, and he's like, hello, and then, uh, and then Jamie's like, Pfft. And then he's in his feelings of freaking Dharma. I'm like, I can't believe it. That blonde, goat headed bastard stole my woman. And he's like, I'll have you. Well, time to drain those sorrows. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. He got over it quick. Nah, that's what I'm talking about. And then the girl's looking at Padre and like, damn, okay. And then somebody wanted uh, the hound. He didn't want it. He just wants to eat his fucking chickens and drink. And he's like, this is my drink. A <laughs> big ass thing. I was like, God damn. I'm like, uh, she's gonna have to wait a while if she's gonna get that, you know, if she wants the Kalkalain D. Nope, she left. And then Sansa talks to him. If there was a time you wouldn't have looked at me, little bird. I've grown. And he said, like, if none of this would have happened, if you would have left with me when I left, you know, during Joffrey. And he's like, yeah, but if I didn't go to that, I wouldn't be the woman that I am today. And he's like, hmm. Touche. Cool. <laughs> He's over. Everyone's enjoying themselves. And then Danny and the true rightful king to the Iron Throne are having some alone time. They're kissing. And he can tell. He's like, oh, I can't do it. This is disgusting. I'm kissing my aunt. Ew. So Danny's right there. She's in her feeling because she knows he's a threat. He's like, tell Sam and Brad to swear silence forever or whatever. And then he's like, no, I have to tell my sisters. They have to know. I'm like, oh, he's so fucking stupid. Literally, put him in remedial classes. Oh, but yeah, he does. Because now they're going over. And he's like, oh, you, oh, your queen just told you. He's like, you'll always be my queen. I don't want it. Oh, what an idiot. Anyway, they're talking about war. And the thing is, they're... Battle plans. I'm like, shoo! And what's name Davos and the Roth Tartaraki took down half. I'm like, yeah. Her armies have been depleted. Literally. The Unsully too and the Tartaraki. And she wants to go straight to King's Landing right away. I'm like, wow, can we get a fucking rest? How about a five minute break? Nothing. Este perra hijo su chingada pinche pelo de mierda. I'm like, yeah, she just wants to go straight to King's Landing. And Sansa being the worst reason. They need to heal. Nope, she's not having nothing. And after that, they have a family meeting! 
less of the stocks. So they're like, she's like, he's right. I respect that. What? He he's like, she's my queen, our queen. Like we needed her. We are never gonna bend. And right there, it's like both of them telling him to his face, we don't trust your queen. Like she's our queen. Nope, she's yours. We don't trust her. All right. We needed her armies. We needed her, you know, dragons and all that crap. But we do not trust her. And then he's like, there's something I have to tell you, but you gotta promise me. I'm like, oh lord, promise. And I'm like, oh crap. And then Bran's like, it's your choice. Asshole. Fucking Bran. That's what he, I'm like, oh my god, it's your choice. Oh, emo and comatose. Fucking speaking rules the whole time, lazy motherfucker. Anyway, he's like, yep. And then he tells him. And then it goes to Sansa. And then Tyrion's right there. Like, I don't trust her. She's our queen. I have to believe. So you fear her. I'm like, oh. And he's like, what if there was someone else? Someone better. Woo. Throw that monkey wrench. And then right there he knows. And then he tells Varys. And then who knows? It's no longer a secret. I think he said eight people knows. And then he is for it. He's like, yeah, maybe he should be the king. Because he has the better claim. And he's like, what about what cocks? He's like, don't you remember Joffrey? He's like, how many kings have you said? Six, five, six, seven, I lost count. Wow. And, yeah, because the whole thing, like, he, right now, he's choosing. He's like, I serve the realm. He's choosing John over Daenerys. Even though he said right there, I'm like, wow. And he, and, you know, Tyrion is like, he's still protecting Daenerys. And right there, they're like, don't do it, please. He's like, I must do what I must. So now... They're going back to Dragonstone. They're flying. And Rhaegal, yeah, right there, because what's name is going uh, on horseback. And then t t he tells Dormund, Jon Snow, take him to the north. You fucking bastard. This fool lost an ear and you can't pet him! You ungrateful bastard. You neglecting ghost. Oh, you don't deserve him, you fucking bastard. Anyway, so now they're flying high. You know, Rhaegal's like, oh, my, oh, she's smiling and phew! No! No! Oh my god, Rhaegal is down. Fucking Yara. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Oh my, yeah, I've been listening to the podcast. Oh my god. It was the other one. Oh, oh I gotta listen to it. Uh, that guy that tips his podcasts are funny. Every time I hear that, I, I'm like, wow, you guys making me think of that shit. Let me whisper in your ear. Yeah, because fucking Yara is a fucking asshole. Okay, and that's true. The clothes he be wearing is like if he's fucking from today. <laughs> if you, if you, if I'm thinking about it, yeah, this motherfucker's like the only person that's dressed up normal. Everyone else is wearing all these fucking rags. Him, he's like, I don't give a fuck. Hell yeah, I'm like a fucking hipster GQ model. <laughs> he kills Rhaegar. He's down, and now she's just down to one. And then she takes down the whole fleet because they have the scorpions and <laughs> everyone's jumping out right there. And then we hear. What's the name? Yelling, Miss Sunday! Miss Sunday! Grey Worm, Miss Sunday! And then we see Cersei, Breaker of Chains. <laughs> Miss Sunday's in chains. I'm like, oh shoot. So they know everything. Now they're trying to try to parlay. Yep, so the hands are talking to each other because they're all right there. Her army's right outside King's Landing. Danny, oh, Drogon's right there. And all the scorpions are right there just ready to shoot. Come on, just give me a, give me a reason. Okay, so the mountains right there. Kyburn, and then they're talking, and they're like, oh, surrender. No, you'll surrender, you'll surrender. Then he goes up there, and I'm like, oh, shoot. Everyone else got the arrows ready to shoot him. And she's like, no. I'm like, well, I guess she has some sort of love for Tyrion. And they're like, please, do it. And then after that, any last words? Oh, shit, Miss Sunday's gonna die. Okay, now I'm going to talk. I don't know why they killed her. Why? For me, if they're going to kill anybody, kill Grey Worm at least. Or, or something, alright? Wh whatever. Oh, she's just right there. And she's like, Trakaris! Oh, shit. I'm like, those are your last words? And this woman's about to be, you know, she's on the way to becoming the Mad Queen. And then the mountain, whoo, her body and head felt like a sack of potatoes. Oh, and then her face. I'm like, oh my gosh, she looked like a lost boy. All right, you remember the lost boy from uh, 
the Keith Sutherland character, that's the one he looked like. like I'm like, damn, she will, she's in her feelings once more. She is pissed off with her mead mug. And that was it for this episode. It was a good episode. It was messed up. And I'm like, right there, I'm like, oh, shoot. She will become the Mad Queen. Anyway, those are the ones I left from this episode. Please come right, subscribe, and take care.